The dogs have to instinctively associate TNT with fun. It's the knowledge that the dog knows he will get his reward for finding the odor of TNT that gives the men the trust in their dogs that they need. It is also important for the trainers to test wind direction. In order for the dogs to catch the smell of TNT, the wind has to be blowing towards them. This ensures the dogs get a clear smell of everything that is in the air. While Rahimullah is learning to do this, Shams is teaching Kerry to be obedient. This is the most important lesson of all, because if the handler can't control his dog, then they simply can't be trusted in a live minefield. And this is what instructor and landmine detection veteran Abdul Jabbar is telling them. Before he became a demining instructor, he was a dog handler, like Shams hopes to be. Together with his dog, he found more than 250 landmines. The men speak to their dogs in numerous languages, in English, in German. This means stay. And of course, Afghani. But it is all the same in the end, to ensure they have maximum obedience from their dog. Eventually, Kerry will become like these dogs who are on the front line against the unseen enemy. These dogs are in the danger zone. Danny and his handler Mohammed Asif and Sonny and his handler Mohammed Hanif are up there with the best of them when it comes to effective landmine detection. Today, Sonny and Danny are working a minefield less than a mile from the outskirts of Kabul. The minefield is surrounded by accidents waiting to happen. On one side, a road frequented by traffic of all kinds. On the other side, open land trodden by goats, mules and Gucci's, the nomadic people of Afghanistan who have wandered this land endlessly. Danny and Sonny are part of Demining Group 10. Along with the rest of the group, they begin their work at 6.30 every morning. For the men, it's another day of looking death in the face as they hunt out the deadly landmines. For the dogs, one wrong step and it could be disastrous. But for them, it's another day of playing a great game of ball. Albeit in the valley of death. While modern landmines are largely made out of plastic, metal detectors can find them. However, the dogs are more effective because with their amazing sense of smell and their ability to concentrate, they don't miss a single mine. Sonny and Danny's challenge today is to clear a block the size of a basketball court. With luck, their handlers will be able to declare the area safe. It's only 9 a.m. and already the temperature is approaching 36 degrees. The dogs have to be given water every 10 minutes to prevent dehydration. Shabbos, oh yeah. 
In a few hours it will be pushing 40 degrees. At nose level the ground temperature will be a scorching 55 degrees. Then it will be too hot for the dogs to continue and they will have to stop. But in the meantime, the dogs work on in earnest. The dogs' feet will be getting hot, but a cooling northerly breeze, which blows dust around, keeps their noses cool. The wind is an important feature for the dogs because it cools them, whereas in the desert environment, the, the temperature is overheating them. On a day like this, we're about 35 degrees, there's no problem for the dog as long as there's a little bit of wind. They can work for up to 20 minutes uh, without difficulty. If that wind drops, they can immediately start to overheat. At 35 degrees, uh, 11.30 in the morning, the ground temperature is over 50 degrees, and that's interfering with the ability of the nose to function, and also you can actually see them raising their feet because uh, of the heat from the soil.